Last question I got, and it's it's kind of it's it's outside of souls. Um, but I think I saw you you praise you know uh, Final Fantasy sixteen that you really liked it. I um, loved it, man. So, so what do you think about the criticism that people had? Like, for example, that it's not a quote unquote real Final Fantasy game, and I don't know your history with Final uh, Fantasy. Uh, like, uh, it lacks uh, some of the uh, tropes that that it you know usually has. That shit's that shit's brain dead. Mm-hmm. So, all right, people were coming up. It's not Final Fantasy anymore because it's not turn based. Final Fantasy hasn't been turn based since for 12. a while. Yeah. yeah, for for almost twenty years. Um, what do we got? We got a broody ass protagonist. We got a waifu. We got chocobos. We mm-hmm. got magic. We got some weird ass fantasy storyline that goes way off the fucking rails. Starts off fighting a kingdom. Later, you're killing God. That is a hundred percent Final Fantasy. Mm. what what about because i i have it i haven't i haven't played it yet you know there's just been a lot to get to um people were upset like there's like a lack of like real status ailments for example an elemental use so there, there is there's and, and this this is one of those things i think that could have been a little bit better with the game so like you're as you're uh going through and equipping your your main icons like if you're doing a basic fireball or a basic ice blast or a basic uh wind blast there's no real you know, uh, positive, negative, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. They all just do damage. I think that's definitely something that could have been better. Like, oh, you're fighting an ice type enemy. If it spells are going to do more damage here. Um, another thing that people didn't like is the, the amount of customization. It's, it's kind of just like stat sticks, you know, mm-hmm. like you just upgrade your weapons. Your accessories might change up a little bit, but not to the extent that the, the past games did. I do think that's a valid criticism. Uh, with the change, though, with the bigger focus on combat, I kind of get why they did it. Because the combat, it plays a lot closer to, like, say, Devil May Cry than a Final Fantasy game. I think the the story in the world is still very Final Fantasy. It's very on brand. And I love the combat. Like, like executing combos and figuring out how to get that that multiplier, you know. Because one of the big things in the game is you have a uh, stagger gauge. Kind of similar to, like, Sekiro, in a sense. And once, but once you hit that, star, actually, no, Sekiro is a bad example. Did you play uh, Xenoblade Chronicles two or three? Uh, I'm not a fan. Um, well, it's it, I never, pl- I never played two, but th- that game has so much going on. Like, <laughs> it's just, it does, I, it does. I ain't gonna lie. I look at the UI of that game, just like everything on screen. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Fair. But yeah. I, I, somebody on my podcast, he's a he's a huge fan. Yeah. So it's it's there's a system in that game that's similar here. The idea is when you break the enemy's stagger bar. It's going to slowly fill back up. And during that time, you're pumping out as much damage as possible. And then when it ends, it's like, mm. you know, 250,000 damage combo or whatever. And so for me, that was, that was my hook with the game. Because I would, I would wait, I'd get all my stuff off cooldown, and then I would break. And then I would like rotate through hitting the specific button combination. So like late game, my, my shit was like, I would throw out this, this standing lightning orb. I'd break them. I'd go into a combo. My combo was executing all the hits on the lightning orb. I'd switch over to Odin. I'd do my like level five Zantan Tsukin. I'd hit that, chain to another Odin ability, pop out another Zantan Tsukin, hit some other ability to freeze the enemy to raise the stagger, swap over into Bahamut, do a giant laser blast, and just like, you know, the perfect execution of like boom, 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 switch, boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. And then seeing that huge fucking number. And the boss's health just got deleted. That was super satisfying for me. Yeah. So that's that's what hooked yeah. me on on Final Fantasy. Yeah. Um. I do. I do think that the you know the remake that combat system is like the perfect middle ground. Um. You know the the hybrid how hybrid it is because it still f- feels like even though you're not standing still and and switching turns, you're you're still technically doing that because you got to build up ATB and you're still issuing yeah. out commands. So I, I think that's the like the a good middle for a lot of people yeah no and i think that's the thing is is mm-hmm. you still have the a a uh, almost like a memory of turn-based and mm-hmm. and uh the remake and you know, subsequently rebirth and 16 just went full on into the combat and i think a lot of people weren't ready for that you know personally i really liked it so it, it, it vibed with me but i think for people that that weren't ready for that transition i think it was too much i think another thing is so people think final fantasy and this is another one of those like legit things is the the party control is you you are the Mm -hmm. character that's it whereas even if we look at like seven remake you know you're swapping between the different party members whereas in 
16, it's just you controlling Clive and rotating through all the various elementals to pull off your, your combos. So mm-hmm. if, if having that one character that rules through all these combos really resonates with you, you'll enjoy it. But if you want that more traditional, I want to have my whole party and I want to, you know, min-max different people's equipment loadouts, it is 